my name is Kim and thank you for joining with me today as we explore change together. Gosh, we're having such a lot of changes just now. Some of us are at school and some of us are having school at home. We can't play with our friends as we used to and we can't hug our grandparents as we want to just yet. Everything seems to be changing, all ups and downs. Some changes are good changes and some are a bit more difficult. A bit like the sea, always changing. Sometimes it's calm and sometimes the sea can be quite rough and choppy. Sometimes the sea is perfect to be paddling in and other times it's just too dangerous to be swimming in. God is the creator of all things and he never changes. His love for us never changes, no matter what is happening all around us. God's love for us never changes. He loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to show us that no matter what's happening in, in our world, around us, in our homes, our schools, with our friends or family, that his love for us never changes. You know, I want to tell you a bit about God's son, Jesus. He is my friend and he doesn't change. In fact, he tells us that in the Bible. And one of the best ways to get to know more about Jesus is by reading about him in the Bible. Just now we're going to look at um, a verse that tells us just that. It's from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, and it says this. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Gosh. Let's read that together, shall we? Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Gosh, good reading everyone. So, no matter what changes are out there, no matter what changes are happening all around us right now, Jesus says, I'm the same yesterday, today and forever. Isn't it great to know that Jesus never changes? His love for us never changes. Ooh. Are you feeling like it's time to be moving around? And I am. I think it's time for us to shake our arms, shake our head, shake our feet and jump up and down and get ready to do some dancing and singing. Join in.
dancers and movers you are. Wasn't that fun? Isn't it lovely fun to sing happy songs to God? I'm sure he is just loving it. Do you think that we could learn the dance? Hmm, I'm not quite sure. I like to um, talk with Jesus each day. I like to share how I'm feeling with him. I like to thank him for all the lovely things that have happened throughout my day, for anything that's happened in my day. Would you join with me in talking to Jesus? Because he loves to listen to what we have to say. That's called praying. Dear Jesus, thank you for being with us throughout this day. Thank you for all the amazing things that we have done and thought and said. Thank you, Jesus, that we know that your love for us never changes. Jesus, would you be with us and help us throughout the rest of this week? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, we look forward to being with you next week and sharing more about Jesus with you. Emma will be along in just a minute and she's going to tell you what's happening next week and talk to you about her activity sheet. But from me, I'll just say thank you for joining with me and bye. And here's Emma. Thank you. Thank you, Kim, for coming and talking with us today. It's so good to hear about God and how much he loves us, especially through all the change that's happening at the moment. If you want something more to do, there is an activity sheet, which you can find linked next to this video if you're watching on our website and linked in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. So please get your parents to help you out and have fun this week with it. Next week, Jen will be here to talk about the next letter in change, H. She will be exploring with us what it means to be a helper so that's goodbye from now, for now from all of us at Rock Solid. See you next week. Mm -hmm.